Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, we will be talking about how you can install the latest version of Firefox on distributions that don't normally give you that. So I have recently reinstalled Debian. Um, I always find myself coming back to it. Uh, the reason is just because I like a distribution that I can just forget about and not update. And it's, you know, or I can update it if I want. So the current way, I normally install Firefox is on Debian Buster, Debian 10. I know that this PPA works well with Firefox uh, and it works well with Buster. Sometimes it gives me problems. Another way you can do it, and also this is if you're using um, Debian or let's say OpenSUSE Leap or just a distribution that's focused on stability and doesn't necessarily want to distribute the newest release of Firefox. For Debian that is because some of the libraries aren't able to be distributed in Debian 9 and even Debian 10. In, uh, in Leap, versions of Leap, it's the same thing. And other lesser known distributions have some similar reasons. But one way that you can deal with this is you can use the DL installer. And it's a script that I found on GitHub that we we're gonna use. So to get this script, uh, you can go ahead and check the link in the description to my article. But uh, we can also go to GitHub and grab that. So because I had to uninstall my version of Firefox, I need to go, go to, uh, use an alternative browser. Um, I don't normally use this browser, but uh, I used to use it a long time ago. So basically, just look for Firefox DL install. And uh, I have I really like this script. The developer hasn't really done much with it, but it still works. And you can just go ahead and grab the clone URL, go to your terminal here, and uh, Let's, let's clone it to the desktop for our demonstration. All right, so now we do CD into the Firefox folder and then we do, and that from here you choose your release. So if you want Firefox beta or Aurora or nightly, you can pick that. Codenames have changed over the years since 2015, but basically just pick the first one because that's the stable, that's the one we want and uh, it will do pretty much everything for you. And then after that, you just have to create a desktop shortcut and all of that. All right, so the installer is done. So we can go back to the article here and we can find the next thing that we need to do. And what we need to do is we need to, if I can get this article to load right in here, I'm not used to this browser. So the next thing we need to do is we need to look for the touch command. You can just copy that straight over here and this will create a new shortcut in the applications directory. From there you can do sudo nano w and you can go ahead and paste this code here. This will create a new shortcut. And this is especially important because I went through and I customized and wrote this because the default Firefox shortcut isn't like this, but this one I specifically wrote so it links to the one that the DL installer has. So you can paste that there and then just control O to save it out. And of course we need to update, uh, we need to make sure we copy all of this. Sometimes I miss those, but uh, basically you just have to paste everything in here and this will give you all the options in the right click menu. So your uh, everything important, there's gotta be a fast way to delete this. So once it's saved, we can exit out and then we can update the permissions of the file. And then after that, there's not really much else left to do. So we can go ahead and open up Firefox and it should run and I can check the information. So Firefox might be a little glitchy because I never did close my release over here, but uh, this is the latest version of Firefox that we just built from source and you can actually check uh, not really from source as in like source code because Firefox doesn't do that. But uh, if we see the folder here, this is where the script puts everything into. And uh, you can just rerun this program right here. We can open it up and keep it on your computer. 
it's a real simple script. It just goes through and it, and uh, you can see the source code here. It just download, it goes to the Mozilla website and it searches for whatever release you want. And it downloads the release, puts it exactly into Opt Firefox, uh, which is where we are right here. So that is how you get the latest version of Firefox going. If you want to uninstall it, I have information on that as well in the article. Hope this was helpful, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.